if you want to walk fast walk alone but if you want to walk far walk together there are eight intelligence which are present in every child it is very important to understand and discover that potential in each and every child hello and a very warm welcome to great principles i am seema choria human potential is immense there is education which can help us to discover and develop the innate potentials but yes there is another thing which we can help is by discovering at home also how we can help the child to discover their own potentials we'll talk more on this very interesting topic today in today's episode with our very honorable educator of the day she is mrs ruby vageshi and she is principal of tilak public school navi mumbai welcome to great principles ma'am we are very honored to have you with us very good afternoon seema ma'am thank you it's my pleasure to be on the show so ma'am before we you know just dig into this very interesting topic you know let us first understand from you what have been your childhood preferences what pushed you to understand your own potential how you entered in this field you know and what will have been your journey like yes ma'am teaching is a wonderful and exciting profession if you are passionate about nurturing and helping the leaders and thinkers of tomorrow keeping in this in mind i started my career as an educator and today it gives me an immense pleasure to share that i am able to contribute to the nation and uh, looking back you know i started my journey in the year 2004 when i did my graduation after my graduation i did my law that is llb after that you know my parents my father said that you should do bed so somewhere you know i would like to give all the credit to my father who gave me you know uh, this uh, opportunity or uh, in fact told me to do bed though i was doing i completed my uh, llb and after my bed you know as soon as i finished my bed i got an opportunity to work as a teacher in a convent school and i can say that you know after doing that there was no looking back the passion you know the one the thing which i uh, got it from my students i still relish it and i am still carrying it along with me you know it is something wonderful giving something to the society so there my journey started as a teacher and three years you know i was i want to mention here that i was born and brought up in guwahati assam and after my uh, marriage i got shifted to mumbai again mumbai you know uh, thinking about mumbai there are n number of profession but then because i did my bed so there was a school just near to my house so i just went for an walk in interview and i got selected and i started my again a journey as a teacher in mumbai and i could tell you that it was my privilege that every year there was something store for me from a teacher to grade in charge then from there grade in charge to section in charge then coordinator then senior coordinator then vice principal and today i am as a principal working in tilak public school so it was like uh, you know uh, climbing up of each and every stairs and uh, i feel very happy in fact privileged that i have tasted each and every uh, profession each and every you know in an educator each and every part of it so this is something which is very important being a leader of an institution to lead a team because i have tasted and i have experienced the fact so today i am there as a leader uh, you know wherein my team is going with me not as a one person but as working as a team absolutely ma'am you know so your father pushed you to do ba and today you are leading the school and you know one more ability of yours of being a leader finally you discovered that also so you know at times we miss these opportunities that yes i can lead also i am the one who can take care of these and when they are we are in these role then many more things start unfolding which are somewhere actually you know buried deep inside within us which even we aren't aware of and i'm sure many more skills are coming on your way to in your this journey 
wishing you all the very best for your future too so now moving to our Thank expert talk yes ma'am welcome so moving to our expert talk topic today so ma'am you know as in your journey you got to know some various talents and skills that you were you were possessing similarly how can we help our children to discover these talent and i think the only one way is giving knowledge and educating them about it and then gradually they start unfolding so ma'am what are your views yes ma'am uh, i would like to tell you here that every child is a special child they are gifted and only thing which is which we have to understand that every child unwrap their packages at different time now uh, you know as an educator also when i look uh, to you know 40 students in a class so every child is not same so we as an educator we as a parent show art understand that there are innate potential and for that the first step is being observant as a parent also we should observe a child we should know their strength and weakness which is very integral part of their journey now uh, when i am telling you you know discover innate potential it is a duty for us to nurture the students you know children will not grow by themselves they need a proper nurturing they need a proper guidance now uh, for that i would like to state about dr howard gardner now he was a psychologist he came with the concept of multiple intelligence so he said that there are eight intelligence which are present in every child okay so every child is having these intelligence and we as an educator we as a parent should identify that which of these intelligence are dominant in our child or in our student which will enable them to be successful in life to come now gone are the days where we can say that only marks will enable them to be successful for example if we compare between sachin tendulkar and uh, lata mangeshkar now again there can never be an comparison lata mangeshkar we still remember her because she has done a great contribution in her music industry same way uh, you know sachin tendulkar he has also you know we still uh, still like to see him because the contribution which he has done so they both are genius but then their field is different so likewise our children also we should come out of that you know uh, uh, thinking wherein we say that it is only marks which can makes our student successful so we should understand them their strength their weaknesses and how we can nurture them in order to be successful and they are choosing the right uh, you know uh, the direction that is something very important now uh, for example if i say you know uh, about bill gates now bill gates once he said that you know he was not academically strong so but then still today he is the owner so his uh, word says like this that i failed in some subject in exam but my friend passed in all now he is an engineer in microsoft and i am the owner of microsoft so we don't know so many you know uh, bill gates are sitting in our uh, schools in our uh, home so we may should find out so it is very important to understand and discover that potential in each and every child now uh, uh, like albert einstein which is a very beautiful quote which i would like to mention here that everybody is a genius but if we judge a fish by its ability to climb up a tree it will remain always as stupid you know it will always believe that it is stupid so make sure that we understand the ability now fish has its ability to swim monkey has its ability to climb so we should understand the strength and weakness so in that case i would like every educator to know that the eight uh intelligence which are linguistic that means some children they are very verbally very strong you know uh, if you ask them anything they are expressive they are able to narrate stories there are so many n number of things they are able to express it they are not only speaking but even writing so they are that intelligence 
in them so they can be you know a uh, 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 you know news reader they can lead the world they can be a lawyer so there are n number of opportunities which are waiting for them so make sure that you understand where or what intelligence our children are dominant of then there is uh, mathematical or logical then we have kinesthetic you must have seen you know some children they are not able to sit in one place they are always moving around they are very active you know so that is also an intelligent it is not don't worry that why the child is not doing well or why is he so active so maybe that intelligent is is uh, dominant in him so same way there is uh, spatial or visual you know some children you make them uh, teach them again and again they will not be able to understand but show them something they will be able able to grasp it soon so that means they are visually strong they are visually smart then we have musical intelligence we have interpersonal intrapersonal interpersonal is very important you know you are interacting the child is very comfortable talking to each other giving an helping hand but there are some children who are intrapersonal so one thing very important which we have to understand that yes a child is staying alone but so far if he is happy there is no problem if a child is intrapersonal so child should be happy that is something very important if a child loves reading book all alone if a child lo loves to play alone it is fine but very important that he is happy then uh, naturalist is again an inter intelligent so these all eight intelligence are already present in all our children but as an educator we have to find out how to which intelligence is dominant and this will in fact help them to you know be successful in their life also and lead them you know the nurturing is very important so it is very important high time we inculcate or we uh, include a curriculum where all these things are added so that we our students get the best benefit of it wonderfully explained ma'am so if i sum it up focusing of individual needs is important understanding the strengths of the child is important giving them exposure because at times you know even children as their skills their potentials are hidden even they aren't aware of the interest which they have so giving them exposure is very important and then working on those strength you know so ma'am you rightly said that uh, one the most important factor is that the child should feel happy because if he is not happy only then learning will not happen and another thing that i loved in your uh, complete discussion was that you focus that don't just give credit to the academic success you know that is that is not the measure of how successful the child will be in life so focus on what he is good at and just ensure that he becomes a master of that and no one can beat him in that so that is what is very important so this was ruby ma'am today sharing some valuable tips and advices for all of us yes it is difficult but it's not impossible to work on personalized education you know to working on educating the child as per their needs and as ma'am mentioned it can be very well achieved so thank you ruby ma'am for your time with us i truly appreciate and i hope your words resonates in the world of education far and wide thank you seema ma'am here i would like to quote one more you know ratan tata once said that if you want to walk fast walk alone but if you want to walk far walk together so we have to make our children you know wherein they are able to walk far rather than walking fast so that is something very yeah. important which is needed for this generation very true ma'am and for that i think it's uh, important that parents school teachers all the stakeholders team up and then as a team work on ensuring that the child goes very very far so wonderfully explained once again ma'am thank you so much thank you